Mr. Melanson. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I appreciate the opportunity to be before the committee today. I, um, the Morganges of the Gulf Hurricane Protection Project is a 64-mile-long system of levees, locks, floodgates, all in South Louisiana, that when complete protect about 120,000 people and 1,700 square miles of land against deadly and destructive storm surges such as those caused by Hurricanes Katrina, Rita, Gustav, and Ike. Morganza would protect an area of the country responsible for one-third of our nation's oil and natural gas production. Our coastal wetlands are a habitat for 30 percent of the seafood consumed in this country. And our communities are great places to live with some of the nation's most stable housing prices and lowest unemployment rate. It is the working coast of the United States. Morganza was first considered in the early 1990s when a reconnaissance study was completed to determine if providing hurricane protection to southeast Louisiana was in the federal interest. Until ultimately, the study found that the contributions these communities make to our nation's energy security made it in the federal interest to protect this area from hurricanes and storm surge. While Word of 2000 included an authorization from Morganza to the Gulf, it was contingent upon a chief's report being completed that year. The Corps of Engineers missed that deadline and progress on Morganza screeched to a halt. However, Morganza is so critical in protecting these communities from hurricanes, the locals passed a tax on themselves to try and build part of the levee system on their own. Instead of standing idly by and waiting for the federal government to save them, the citizens of this area have been, have been and still are taxing themselves at a rate of $6 million a year to protect this important area uh, not only for their livelihood and their property, but for the, that of the country. And the state of Louisiana has also committed significant resources to begin construction without federal assistance. But they need the federal government to be a partner in this project and have anxiously followed the progress of WERDA for years, hoping for a full authorization from Morganza. In November of 2007, WERDA overcame a presidential veto and authorized Morganza to the Gulf at $886.7 million a cost estimate supplied by the Corps. In December, December of 2007, one month later, the Corps decided that the project would exceed its authorization level by more than 20 percent and must be reevaluated. This is an unusual treatment for a project that has not received any post-authorization federal construction appropriations. To make matters worse, the Corps has essentially stopped all progress on this project since its authorization while they completed a reanalysis due in December of 2012. Engineering and design work that was funded and ongoing in 2006, again, has been halted. This past spring, 2009, after reviewing for nearly a year and re-reviewing alternatives that were also part of the IS alternative process for the Chief's report, the Corps returned to its position of supporting the project alignment that was within the Chief's report completed in August of 2002. Seven years without hurricane protection and the Corps was right back where it started. It is unexcusable to me that the Corps has failed to move this project forward, even after a long process of becoming authorized by this committee. Worse yet, federal dollars that could be better spent on construction are wasted on continuing studies for elements already studied and settled upon. As the Corps evaluates Morganza to the Gulf for the third time, keeping the clock running during their decades of analysis, my constituents remain exposed to the Gulf of Mexico and the deadly storms that continue to batter our coast. By delaying progress on Morganza, the federal government is turning a deaf ear to the 120,000 Americans in South Louisiana who currently have little or no defense against storms and are like sitting ducks in the path of the next killer hurricane. And we are jeopardizing the energy security of our entire nation at the same time. As we remember all too well from hurricanes, Katrina and Rita, shutting down the infrastructure in South Louisiana and in the Gulf of Mexico that supports oil and gas production has been a serious economic impact on this entire nation. To address this, I plan to work with the committee between now and December 3rd to find a way forward and expedite construction of the Morganza Hurricane Protection Project. The time for delays and endless reevaluations has passed. We must move forward, whether it is by constructing elements that are already to be built now or by finally building the entire system, a project that has already completed the NEPA process and included in the Chief's report. 
Morganza to the Gulf will provide critical hurricane protection to well over 100,000 Americans in South Louisiana, help prevent further loss of wetlands, and increase our nation's energy security. We can't afford to delay it any longer, and I thank you for the time that you've rendered me.